Hey, it's Yaz Tony Core with Spotlight Image Consultant and Ron to Riches. Just finished Lunch Meat Podcast. Check it out. There we go. <laughs> real vibes, real shit, real stories. Come get a bite at the Lunch Meat Podcast. <laughs> So welcome to today's episode of Let's Be Podcast. And today I have Spotlight Image Consultant in the building, all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina. We in this thing. <laughs> Miss Beautiful Yasmin Fatima. Give it up, everybody. Yeah, little cheers, little cheers, little clap, little clap. All right, I'm having a little audience nose in the background. <laughs> so thank you again. And welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. It's my welcome pleasure. Welcome to Spotlight Image Consulting. It's a beautiful area. Thank you. Um, this is dope colors. Yellow and pink. Pink, yellow, blue, because I like to keep it like poppy, pinky. Mm -hmm. That's just like kind of who I am on the inside. I've always loved like Hello Kitty and like just really candy. So anything reminded me of like candy innocent. <laughs> candy innocent. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my audience loves to get to know my guests from the inside out. You know, so basically, we're gonna start with how did you grow up? Okay. Right. Well, she from Brooklyn. I got mm -hmm. this from a little Instagram boutique. Oh, nice. Just put that. There. Shout out to the Shout Instagram out boutique. To the boutique. Um, <laughs> but I'm from New York, but I actually moved to Charlotte in junior high school. So that was like right at that point in time where you figure, okay, well, now I'm grown or I think I'm grown. So mm -hmm. I like to say that I'm bi regional as far as my mentality is New York, but by the time I was able to experience life, I was here in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So I have love for Brooklyn and I have respect for Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So, cause I feel like I'm from both places. So um, I grew up, I'm an only child. So extremely spoiled, yeah. not really having really like Bossy probably. Bossy, <laughs> very bossy, um, <clears throat> but allowed me to be the boss that I am today. That's very um, true. So just having that background and getting my way and so women, if you're told you're bossy or assertive, then just be a boss on your own business. That's not wrong. Be a boss. Listen, bossy women runs this world. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not with submissive women, but bossy women. So I appreciate y'all <laughs> for being here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for up upholding us, because you know, we as kings, we need y'all. Right. So we need y'all to level up and do our thing in our life. Mm -hmm. So thank you. You're welcome. All right, so mm -hmm. you moved from New York to Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, was, there's a fashion difference, right, in a way? Yes. So, um, so when I moved, that was right around the, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That was right around <laughs> the, the like um, 2X, T, Soldier Boy. Oh man. And so fashion was already going through something, but honestly, I feel like a lot of people like to say that. But when I came to Charlotte, I honestly believe I seen the style in Charlotte and being able to wear short, <clears throat> mm -hmm. being able to wear shorts <laughs> a little bit longer, cause in New York, like as far as fall fashion and wearing layers, it started like September. But then when I moved here, I'm like, it's November and I still go on flip flops. So, mm -hmm. so honestly, that's just the difference as far as the climate. But Charlotte has style too. And now that we in 2020, like it's not like before, back in the day in the nineties, it's like, oh, the shoes is only going to Charlotte and Atlanta. Yeah. Now everybody getting the shoes because everybody has the internet. So Charlotte has its own style. Um, I feel like if you line men up or my, men and women up, you wouldn't really be able to tell where they come from nowadays now that everybody's connected through social media. That's very true. Mm -hmm. And like before I moved to Charlotte, my homie uh, from uh, Jamar, yay. Shout out to did that. Um, he was like, man, before you come to Charlotte, now your shoe game gotta be right. Mm -hmm. So I bought my first <laughs> pair of Jordans <laughs> back in 2017 because you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> it was like you can't walk up to no you know female and your shoe game ain't right. Yeah. So yeah. that's very that was very important. <laughs> so I, I definitely know about the fashion game mm -hmm. and stuff in Charlotte. So and I actually I didn't realize Charlotte was like a happening city mm -hmm. until I went to Fayetteville State um, Bronco Pride. I graduated mm -hmm. uh, class of 2010. Okay. Um, 
And because we came from Brooklyn to New York, oh, excuse me, Brooklyn to Charlotte, and I'm just like, okay, this is the South. You know, all the like, oh, uh, what is it? All the things people think about the South and being from New York and not having family here, because it was just me and my mom. So I'm like, okay, well, this must be what country is, because yeah. I had no idea what country really same, was. The same country. And I want to say the same. And that's yeah. the, that ride from Charlotte to Fayette. I'm like, sure, is a lot of cotton. And, <laughs> and then, like, telling people, oh, I'm from Charlotte. And they're like, oh, 704? She from 704? Yeah. I'm like, oh, Charlotte means something. Yeah. So going yeah. out there showed me, like, 252, 910, mm -hmm. 919. That's when I learned of the other cities in North Carolina. Like, oh, Charlotte is a city. Yeah. So, it's Charlotte, just a place. you know, so yeah, Charlotte's doing a lot of things and it's still growing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So basically, you know, who introduced you to the game of photography? Honestly, mm -hmm. I was always that girl who had a camera. So mm -hmm. I would have like the Kodak throwaway camera. Oh man, you was that kid in the school like that? Like, take a picture. Around the, like, the, <laughs> well, not around the neck, but like the little throwaway <laughs> camera, like the yellow and black, um, like Kodak. You take the picture, you take it to Walgreens. Mm -hmm. It takes three days to develop and then you see like oh all these are dark or yeah, they don't look it. great you, you don't even know what they're gonna look like but every time i'll get my pictures back they still look good i should have brought some oh, but, good. <laughs> but i had um so every like last day of school prom any type of event i always had a camera and then even when my best friend stacy hey girl she always had like a big picture box full of like pictures and she went to a different school. So she had pictures of people I didn't even know, but I just always like look through her pictures. I enjoy looking at pictures. I feel like I can like read people's emotions through a picture, like the eyes. And so it's just little details that I, didn't, I didn't realize that <laughs> it was a gift. Like everybody can't see that. Everybody doesn't. So that. you mean, tell me you, you take a picture, right? Mm -hmm. Or you see a picture in a magazine, you're like, you know what? I know that person's thinking. You mean like not that? even thinking, but just feeling like not mm -hmm. even like a model pose that's like fake, mm -hmm. but somewhat like a candid picture mm -hmm. or just like the paparazzi, the celebrities already look bothered. But if I'm going through like family pictures, mm -hmm. I can like see like, oh, I don't know, like they have beef or mm -hmm. they don't really want to take this picture <laughs> or it's just very uncomfortable or yeah. they're very happy or they excited. So it's like the eyebrows. And the body language, so being able to read that, because if somebody looks uncomfortable, like, that yeah, like yeah. I can see like tension. it's a tension, and somebody building the wall with their body, or just even like you ever see somebody who's like hugging and like a kid, and then somebody's kind of like, yeah, like you can yeah. see the strain, like <laughs> so little details, and you can really read a person just off of their picture. So that's when I noticed it was an art, but. Fast forward to 2017, I, there was an opportunity to be Santa's helper at Carolina Place Mall. And I'm like, I want some extra money for Christmas gifts, but I really enjoyed it. So I'm thinking like, I'm gonna take pictures, you know, next, whatever. So you, you was taking pictures like for the, the Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. Okay. For, so they called the position Santa's helper. <laughs> yeah. So like, okay. So he's just as the elf. I had, they had like oh green God. ape. We had to wear all black. It wasn't like that, but green aprons, uh, uh, it was all black, <laughs> green apron, like red letters. Um, and I noticed when I took the picture, then we had to actually edit. We'll tell the family, okay, come back in 20 minutes. And as I'm editing the pictures, because also it's a commission. So if you pick, take a good picture, you pick the right picture, you pick the right package. You get money if they like upgrade it. So, and I realized it was more than money for me that I really enjoy editing and like seeing Jordan family. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Like, or like just realizing if it was a difficult child and if I got to like, hey, 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 like yeah. smile, then I would feel really accomplished. And um, from there, I actually start, so uh, Spotlight Image Consultant actually just started as social media consultant management. Mm -hmm. So for a black small business, I would uh, do their social media maybe three times a week because of the app, before they changed the algorithms of Instagram as far as posting three times a day and commenting and replying to your comments. So just doing what? all that. So this was back in 2017. Okay. Um, and then this year, my kids, they wanted to do YouTube. So mm -hmm. they were like, mama, can you get the equipment? 
And so I got the camera, I, I shoot with a Nikon. Um, I got my Nikon, my equipment, mm -hmm. but they're children. So they want to do a YouTube and then not do anything for months. And I still had the equipment. Yeah. So then I'm like, well, I have all this stuff. Like, I'm going to use it. Uh, so and my first client was Shay Shay Sweetables. So I took pictures of- Some good Rice Krispies. Yeah. We go. Amazing. Shout out to Shay. Uh -huh. Thank you for trusting me. <laughs> yeah, and amazing. starting this business, helping me, um, well, revamping it. Because after I did the social media, it was just kind of dead. I started like back in corporate America, which is kind of something on the side I didn't put my full focus on it. Mm -hmm. But really adding that camera gave me the multi dimension I needed to have like a social media image consultant powerhouse that I have now. Okay, great. That's that's dope. Thank you. <laughs> fly, she's super fly. I'm trying to tell you. All right, so you started on your own, right? Mm -hmm. So once you get, you start using the equipment, so what did how did Spotlight Image came about? Uh, so it actually came about. Uh, shout out to Touch of Precision Barbershop. They were looking for an assistant to focus on their social media. Mm -hmm. And I always admired their work. So before I, they even needed uh, any type of social media management, shout out to Evan Perez, he's still doing great things. Mm -hmm. um, I just always admired their work and I was actually pregnant with my son. Mm -hmm. And I would see all these like cool haircuts, he was doing the design stuff. So I'm like, oh, when I have my son, he gonna <laughs> go there. So it was already, it was actually me I feel like, have you read The Alchemist? It felt like me kind of like put- Start, I haven't started yet, but okay. I got the book. Read it. Um, I haven't finished it, but it was me kind of putting in the universe like, okay, when I have this child, mm -hmm. then I know I'm gonna be going there because they're for haircuts, but then you give, you put something out in the universe and they triple it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm just going there for haircuts and it actually turned into a job position because when I saw he was hiring for an assistant, I'm like, yeah, I love when you did this, this, and that. So having that background knowledge, I feel like that impressed him. I started doing social media. I started seeing how to run a business because I was like the right hand as far as how things are ran, working with black people, having customers, bringing people respect and time. So I learned a lot of business from him. And fast forward to 2020, he, he have, now has the barbershop, barber college, and the salon suites on Freedom Drive. So, yeah. Whoa. Freedom Drive, is that that's downtown Charlotte? That's or? West Side. So west like side. if you go on if you like on eighty five, um, so it's it's the west side of Charlotte, but which is great. So now he has a suite. I think some like lashes, hair salon, barbershop. So he's improving, and so this is really. So thank you, Evan. I appreciate everything you taught me. Shout to Evan. Shout to Evan. Still doing his thing. Um, and yeah, so seeing that, mm -hmm. shout out to Casey Lash by C, uh, the cutie bar. Uh, so that's my little sister. She was doing lashes at her house. Then she got her studio, and I just saw like once you take yourself seriously, other people will take you seriously. So I just started taking myself seriously. And your circle of people, mm -hmm. the people you hang with, like your five closest people, I heard, mm -hmm. learns from a lot of wealthy people. Is is who you is who you gonna become in a way? So say you you with people who have businesses, mm -hmm. business owners, you with the circle of people majority of your time of your day, majority of your life, you're gonna become a business owner one day somehow. Exactly. So if you, if you didn't see it that way, that's what you did actually. Mm -hmm. So basically associate your people, people who you want to become. Right. Yep, very true. That, you did your thing, girl. I did. I did <laughs> never judge somebody as far as age. Cause like mm -hmm. I said, my little, it's my little sister. She's uh, 20, 21 now. But I feel like when she first started coming in the house, people kind of looked at it like, oh, it's a hobby or, mm -hmm. but she was getting clients and just seeing her drive. So I feel like she started maybe at 18, 19, correct me if I'm wrong, Casey, you know, be upset. Hey everybody, I'm Ron to Riches with the Lunch Me Podcast, man. I'm here on Kroger Street, one of the most artistic places in Atlanta. Uh, this place right here is beautiful, man. As, as you can see, the beautiful portrait of Raza. The Wu Tang Clan King, as you can say. So, just enjoy everything. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page, The Lunch Meat TV. I'm say it again, The Lunch Meat TV, meeting as M E E T. You know, and follow my Instagram 
Ron Two Riches, uh, my Spotify podcast, the Lunch Me Podcast audio version, and Apple Music, Lunch Me Podcast audio version. So just enjoy everything. Appreciate you. And if you want to come on the show, contact me, 843-480-5178. Local business owners, artists, anyone who has something to talk about, just come on the show. Thank you. 20, at 21, she's in her third place of business. First, she started in the studio with other girls, mm -hmm. then she was somewhere else, and now she's in her own room. So, a 21 year old taught a 31 year old, like, hey, you gotta get your own. And so, that's I just follow a business owner, a little CEO. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, definitely the company you keep is important, and the conversations you have. So, my thing is, I feel like it's easy to get caught up in gossip and like talking mm. about people. And now that what? it just disgusts me, yeah. like I can't. Drama is like not for you. Guys. Not even drama. It's it could be drama, but it's just like, how is this gonna make me money? If it can, I don't want to talk about it. Cause mm -hmm. why would I talk about somebody else? Like that's my time. I could be editing. That's my time. I could be marketing, meeting people that could be making me money. Mm -hmm. So it's just. Being business minded, so mm -hmm. that's very true. All right, so all people, you know, what I'm saying the young girls or, or guys is out there watching right now, mm -hmm. right? And they want to know how can I get started? Okay. So what steps did you take to create Spotlight Image Consulting? Uh, well, the first step was networking. So meeting someone who needed help. Uh, so if you know someone with the business or if you admire a business, mm -hmm. so that's how it started, uh, just the admiration and paying attention to what they're doing. So really following people, not to like them, but following people. So really admiring someone and being proactive with it. Because you could like, 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 and if you know the person is in your city, reach out to them. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I see what you're doing. Is there any way I can help you? And definitely, it's not about the money as far as if it's your passion. Mm -hmm. So for people who, because when I was working with Evan at uh, Touch Precision, I always told him, like, it must be awesome to have your passion. And I was still, like, taking pictures of my kids all the time, yeah. not realizing that I can monetize this. Mm -hmm. But just once you find your passion, not being so like, okay, well, I need to make this, this, and that. Once you're in your passion, I feel like you're going to be guided and you're going to get everything you need. But when it's all about money, then your customer service is not there. The experience sucks. That's People are not going to come back. So really make sure you're being honest about what you're doing. Make sure it's not a job. But once you have that, then you, um, I think the best thing is to talk to, I'm um, actually have a meeting with a friend, me, a CPA, mm -hmm. an accountant, just make sure I'm doing things correct. But you said, how did I start this? I feel like I, <laughs> I went a little frog, but I started with social media, um, hashtags, because I was do this is a social media company. So it started from handling other people's social media. So making yourself like, hey, if you like my page. Mm -hmm. So that's why I named it Spotlight, because I felt like I I get a lot of attention. I'm very low key. I don't really want attention. Yeah. So I'm using the attention I get to put it on others. Mm -hmm. So I'm just deflecting my natural spotlight to other companies and other businesses but um as far as getting a studio space you just just like you're looking for an apartment because it's like my second home mm -hmm. um looking up actually looking up office suites looking up just comparing don't jump on the first opportunity mm -hmm. <clears throat> seeing what's all in the area because if i would have got the first one then i may have been in the hole right now so definitely doing your homework um, having that com those conversations with people that already have businesses, see ask them how they did things, because um, the company that owns this building is the same company that owns the Lash uh, Casey, the cutie bar. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, hey, do you have any issues with them? When you have a maintenance issue, do they come out? Yeah. So doing your homework because you don't want to be in a, a 12 month lease and it's mm -hmm. six months your sink is not working or mm -hmm. the light is not working or it doesn't feel safe. So do your homework before you actually get into a contract or a commitment that you can't get out of. Um, find, a, make a logo, get a logo made, 
website. I, I did my website on Wix. And then just being able to engage, depending on your industry. My industry is image consultant, so I have to always make sure my image is away. So posting on social media, answering to people, maybe even randomly posting, maybe randomly posting on shade room or just like mm -hmm. get into like little debates with people, like knowing that they're trolls. But then you're getting people to look at your page. Right? Exactly. And then somebody's gonna see what they like and then having all the businesses in my bio. So, so kind of like games. Bring it like not really bring. Trying to be in attention to mm -hmm. reflect attention. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, hey, look at me. Okay, just kidding. I want to see you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's cool though. So what what challenges did you face? Why uh open up your uh, beautiful studio here? <laughs> um, the challenges I face would be self esteem mm -hmm. and like just keep on going because somebody that's always worked in corporate America I would see so like okay do this eat the five go home so being a robot and now mm. I'm like training myself I don't have to be that way I may work. 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. because this is mine, but I want to. So just being able to realize it's not robotic, it's not, you may have a slow weekend and the next week somebody contacts you and wants you to do a project for a thousand dollars and then you're good again, but then also keeping up that momentum. So at first it was very hard for me like, oh, nobody's looking, like, but that if <laughs> yeah. you get into that like self doubt, then you stop posting, and then you feel away, and you in the bed, or you watch TV. Mm -hmm. But just to always understand that it's a new day, people are gonna want the product. Just like I, I seen somebody, I seen a post that said, um, just because somebody is doing something, if you want to do it, you should go to like look at how many brands of bread. With go down the bread aisle and it's like fifteen different bread, but that's not stopping them. Yeah. So it's not feel like you're not copying them. You right. don't feel that way. Yeah, and it's it's room for competition because nobody, I, everybody's strength is being their own individual self. Yes, it may be other people that are taking pictures, but nobody is going to be from Brooklyn and Charlotte with children. And so every person has their own unique experience. So my challenge was being able to own who I am, what I offer people, the the vibes I give, and understand that it costs and it's yep. going to create allow me to be successful. You feel the vibes contains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's dope. So you, you did this on your own. So it's, 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 it's amazing. So a lot of people can be like, you know what? A lot of people may think I need to wait till this or that. So did you have any period where you're like, you know what, let me wait to see what happens or you just did it? Well, I was able to just do it because of COVID. So mm -hmm. at first I wouldn't even, honestly, because I started the company in 2017, but it I was doing social media. I was helping out Touch of Precision. Mm -hmm. And then once I got into corporate America 2018, then I just didn't have the time. And then that's when you get in a rat race and like become a robot. COVID came, I started working from home. The kids wanted to do, since we were all home so often, they wanted to do YouTube. So my children actually influenced me because if it wasn't for them, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have had the equipment and everything. Um, what was your question? <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm really trying to think now. What it was, uh, did you, uh, did you wait? Oh, okay. Or did you just So COVID, <laughs> COVID really kind of pushed me out the door, put fire under my behind. Mm -hmm. Because what? I was furloughed. Well, first we worked from home and furloughed mm -hmm. to terminate it. Mm -hmm. But by the time I was furloughed, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to start taking clients. Um, so honestly, the way everything set up, I wasn't doing anything mm -hmm. either way. So it turned into a hobby and a passion and like, okay, well, I'm going to get a studio. I'm going to make this legit. I'm going to take this seriously. Get on Yelp, Google, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. So I feel like everybody doesn't have that opportunity. 
I was blessed to have that opportunity and now like homeschooling. So this was just the best time. But for people that are like, okay, well, I'm going to wait to this. I was, that was always me because I'm a planner. Mm -hmm. So if I was still working uptown and going to school, it was just like, okay, maybe something I'll do later. Mm -hmm. But that's when you realize what's your passion and like when it just comes easy. Like, I'm going to take a few pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed this person. Okay. So when things are just building, then I feel like that's go time. Um, to really take yourself seriously and your craft seriously. Yep. And she did an amazing job at the time. You know what I'm saying? We did an amazing photo shoot in, in Atlanta and the area. And I felt like I was in power or something like that when I look at that photo. I was like, all right. <laughs> all right, so what does Spotlight Images offer to the customers? Okay, so we offer, of course, photography. Mm -hmm. We offer... We offer <laughs> studio photography and a studio here, outdoor photography. Um, since I've been in Charlotte for 20 years, mm -hmm. I know all the spots. So um, definitely consulting before mm -hmm. I start with a client. I actually have them come in, uh, you know, my office space, like, hey, what's the look you're looking for? Show me some ideas. Um, so indoor studio, outdoor photography, social media, management, as far as if you just know you don't have the time, um, the company would be able to post to your social media as often as you want for a flat weekly rate. And if you need to cancel at any time, just cancel. But um, if you need maybe a grand opening or rebranding, I call it my rebranding package. Um, and also I allow for content creators and other photographers to rent out my studio because that's actually what helped me get the studio because I was looking at different companies like, okay, well, I don't want to, I want to just borrow. But borrowing that time and space was very taxing. So I feel like as far as people of color who are doing this, I didn't see and if there is out there, no offense, but I just didn't see any that was black owned and like black, like it just didn't look like even a studio space, which is very, just not my style. Mm -hmm. So I offer uh, just people of the culture who need the studio space and uh, allow them to come here and also uh, creative as far as doing their back behind the scenes. So it may not be an official edited photo shoot, but they may just want to see how it looked when they were uh, shooting a video or they were in a photo shoot, but they want that behind the scenes for social media. So all image, uh, so how do you look on social media? How does the world see you? That's how Spotlight helps the community. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you. You know, and my mom was like, you know what? You're a queen. That chair right there. I see that chair. I'm like, oh, okay. I thought about you and Big Smalls. You know, Big Smalls has like the uh, the king chair. Which one? Oh, I wanted to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I can see you right there just one day. Just bossing up, like, yeah, yeah, but I like a huge studio one day, yeah. so. Yeah, this is just step one. So I feel like I, this is a 12-month lease, so that's another thing. Mm -hmm. uh, business owners, future business owners, definitely understand the sacrifice and patience. So this is a rented uh, studio space, so I feel like this is my 12 months to, like, really do, to grind, because I don't want to do another lease. The next step is to have my own space where I can, like, change the walls ever so often or have different offices and have employees so this is actually i got in july so uh ten, nine more months mm -hmm. so i got nine more months here to lay my foundation down and then july 2021 i'm going to own my home space okay and what is that special what, what where are you specialize you know some talk for those specialize in like I guess uh, cartoonism, realism, mm -hmm. or water type of photo shoots. Mm -hmm. What is your specialty? My specialty is families, uh, pink, birthday balloons. So I'm like that, like birthday queen mm -hmm. of the birthday day cake. type of. <laughs> um, so definitely, I would say either that birthday cake, as for these backgrounds back here. So like that birthday pop type of shoots with the balloons and the fun. 
And also I enjoy capturing families, even when they're difficult. So one of my first family shoots, it was 10 children and they came out well. Nice. So just having fun. I used to be a teacher. So just getting the whole world and being able to capture that love because mm -hmm. I enjoy looking at pictures. I know it'll be in someone's house, blown up on the wall, mm -hmm. like grandma and all her grandbabies. So uh, families and and uh, birthday and then also business rebranding. So as far as the Shea Shea Sweetables, taking pictures of food, taking pictures of product, um, allowing, <clears throat> Excuse me, allowing black owned companies to have that professionalism in their website. Um, so making sure, or even Instagram. So I see some people with pictures that's just low quality, mm -hmm. and people are judging you off of that or not going to follow you because you don't seem follow worthy or it's very materialistic and very shallow. And I'm not that way, but I'm able to give people the tools that they can succeed in that type of world. So, um, so my specialty is definitely either putting yourself in on the front scene at the girl's birthday, uh, families, or just business group rebranding. Okay. You do it all. Yeah. The girl's amazing. I'm telling you, <laughs> you, you know, Essence Magazine. <laughs> Quick shout out. <laughs> All right, so how can someone uh, book you or find you? Uh, where can they go on social media or your website? My website is mm -hmm. www.spotlightimageconsulting.com. My Instagram is at spotlight underscore image underscore LLC. And also for the adults, I enjoy taking pictures of beautiful women. Uh, the content may it didn't seem well mixing it with my family mm. pictures, so I also have at spotlight underscore new N U D E. Um, and that is for my adult content and more creative uh, new N U D E. And it's appreciative, it's very classy. Very appreciative. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like I've seen a lot of, no judgment, but I've seen a lot of photography pages and companies where I feel like women were getting taken advantage of mm -hmm. or just poses that wasn't very flattering mm -hmm. with me um i'm gonna always make sure you look flattering um give, leave something for the imagination because i feel like i just it's just a lot of manipulation going on just because if somebody has a camera that don't need me to put some wrong thing there like Anywho, I keep it very classy and Whoa. elegant. Yeah, I've seen something because I want to collaborate. So okay. I'm not like the type of like, oh, we're just not collaborate. Like, I'm going to add you. I'm going to see your message. Hey, let's collaborate. But I've definitely seen some things out there like, I don't even do that, girl. Yeah. You didn't have to do that. So definitely come on over to me. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to make sure you look good. And um, yeah, keep it classy. Okay, well... Appreciate you for coming on the show. Thank you for coming. Um, is there anything you want to shout out? You know, anybody you um, want to shout out? I just want to shout out to all the black business owners. I'm rooting for everybody black. Um, for everybody who's black. Yes. Um, yes please, sir. please allow me to help you in your business or even just collaborate on ways we can work with each other. Shout out to the Cutie Bar. Uh, shout out to Design by State. She did all of my, uh, as far as my branding clothes, she does the t-shirt press, and also she creates websites. So I, we work together as far as I make sure your pictures look good and she'll actually create the website. So design by state. Shout out to Touch of Precision, Barbershop, Barber School, and TLP Salon Suites for showing me business ethic and how to run black business. And shout out to Spotlight Image Consulting. Mm -hmm. And Ariel Photography. And Ariel 7 of Grandma Mentor. Yes, sir. Um, thank you so much. You, this is my next step as far as just becoming an even better lady. Don't say lady. Put the kids in here. But 7 of Brand, Ariel Photography, new, this new black. Uh, actually about to meet him now. Okay. And shout out to Did That Apparel. Also, Charlotte, make sure you get that. Deuce. <laughs> Real vibes, real shit, real stories. Come get a bite at the Lunch Me Podcast. <laughs>